Am I quick to judge others? This is our reflection question for today. Holy Spirit, make my heart open to the Word of God. Make my heart open to goodness. Make my heart open to the beauty of God. Three friends, Shinji, William, and Pedro, were discussing which country has the best justice system. Shinji said, in Japan, we have a very low crime rate, and that is because of our very good justice system. To which William goes, my country set the standards when it comes to our court system. If you do a search on Google, the United King Kingdom will come up as having the best legal framework in the whole world because of its judges. Pedro was very quiet. He was trying to think of a way to beat his other two friends. Finally, he came up with something. He says that in my country, you do not need to go to law school to be a judge. His two friends look surprised and ask, what do you mean? In my country, you can be a doctor and judge. You can be a carpenter and judge. You can be a nurse and still pass judgment on others. You can be a high school dropout, a bystander, a bus driver, you know, a farmer. You can be anybody and still judge. Everyone in my country easily judges others. Can everyone in your country do that? Pedro's friends were left speechless. Today's Gospel reading, in the book of Matthew chapter 7, verses 1-7, to Jesus said to his disciples, Stop judging that you may not be judged. For as you judge, so will you be judged. And the measure with which you measure will be measured out to you. Why do you notice the splinter in your brother's eye, but do not perceive the wooden beam in your own eye? How can you say to your brother, let me remove that splinter from your eye while you, the wooden beam is in your eye. You hypocrite, remove the wooden beam from your eye first, then you will see clearly to remove the splinter from your brother's eyes. Who am I to judge? Must rank one of the best known praises of Pope Francis. It might be because it taps on a delicate part of us. How can we possibly evaluate how others act? This can result in a condescending, indifferent attitude towards others. It can also develop into a passive, uncaring attitude towards others. I will not judge you for your responsible for your own choice, but don't expect me to help you in any way, for I am not responsible for you at all. Jesus is saying something quite different. He wants us to avoid passing judgment on others and try to free ourselves from prejudices that can cloud our judgment. He wants us to examine ourselves carefully, identify the areas that need improvement, and then pray for the fortitude to make progress in those areas. Most importantly, let's beg for compassion, both for ourselves and for people whose attitudes and actions we find challenging to accept, or to put it simply, those who judge us. We need to remember that when we judge others, we do not define them, we define ourselves. In our prayer time today, let's recall the times when we ourselves have been judged unfairly and ask God to give us the grace to learn the effect we have on people when we pass judgment on them, hoping to learn how we can be more loving and tolerant in our attitude towards others. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, thanks for your beautiful reminder for us today. Forgive us for the times when we were quick to pass judgment, both in speech and thought. For every time our words or actions of judgment and condemnation have hurt someone, 
Help us not to focus on the faults or shortcomings of others and give us the grace to see others through the eyes of love. This we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Dear the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless your families. God bless our Catholic Church. And God bless couples for Christ.